cybersecurity, ethical hacking, offensive security, pen testing, vulnerability assessments. If these words spark your interest, you've landed in the perfect spot. Welcome to the Ultimate Kali Linux Mastery Series, where we start from absolute zero and guide you through the essential skills you'll need to become proficient in cybersecurity. In today's first episode, we'll kick things off by downloading and installing Kali Linux, then customizing it to lay the groundwork for our exciting journey into the world of ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Buckle up and let's jump right in. All right, head on over to the link in the description. That's the Kali Linux download link. You have installer images. You have images specifically for virtual machines, ARM processors, mobile. I'll cover that later in this series. Cloud, you can do this in a container such as Docker. Uh, they have live boot. I do, I will touch on that as well. And then WSL, I have videos on that as well that I can link for you guys. For today and for most purposes, we are gonna download the installer images. I'll be working a virtual machine, but you can follow along and this will be the same exact thing if you're doing this on a physical machine. So go ahead and click on the installer 64-bit. If you're working with something different like an ARM processor, obviously follow along with that and download the ARM. For this, I'm downloading the 64-bit installer. Okay, once the ISO is completely downloaded, go ahead and launch VMware Player or create a USB with the ISO on it. If you're following along with me, you're gonna do this in VMware. So we're gonna create a new virtual machine. We're gonna browse to our ISO, which is in our downloads folder since we just downloaded that. And then we're gonna click on next. We're gonna leave it at Linux and Ubuntu. Kali is Ubuntu based. And then we'll give this a name here. We'll call it Kali. And I have a couple already, so I'll call mine Kali03. I'm gonna give this a little more disk space here since we're gonna be building an environment on top of this. So this will be 60 gigs. Feel free to make yours whatever size you're comfortable with. I'm gonna customize the hardware as well. I'm gonna give this guy eight gigs of RAM for right now. And then I'll go ahead and up the processor cores as well. We'll do four by two, so that'll be eight virtual cores. Click finish. Let's go ahead and power on that virtual machine and we'll be brought to the Kali Linux splash screen where we'll select graphical install. Give this a second to load up our UI. All right, go ahead and select your language. I'm gonna select English. Next up is your region or location, United States for me. Select your language again or your layout. And we'll let this thing cook for a second. All right, so now you're gonna define your host name so the first name we had was the virtual machine name. This will be the actual OS level host name. So I'll just call mine Kali and I'll click on continue. Domain name, I don't need one here. If you're doing anything with a domain, free to, feel free to do that here. All right, next up is gonna ask us for our full name and then it'll ask us for our username after that. I'm just gonna use the same for both IT Unicorn. Feel free to put whatever you want here. Next thing you have to do is type in a password and then repeat that password to verify. Click continue when you're done. All right, configure the clock, I'm in Pacific time. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, install everything to the entire disk. I'm gonna keep things simple. If you guys wanna do anything more advanced, feel free to do that. All right, so just confirm the disk you wanna install it to and then I'm gonna install all files to one partition and then finish partitioning and write files. And you do need to select yes here to write the changes to the disk. If you guys wanna do anything different with your partitioning and sizes, obviously feel free to do so. I'm just keeping it simple for this demo. All right, we are cooking it off to the races. We'll give this a little bit to finish up and we'll be back when it's done. All right, through the power of editing, that was done in 15 seconds. Click continue and that'll finish everything up and reboot Kali Linux. All right, now that your system's back up, go ahead and log in with that username and password that you created during the installation. All right, this part is optional, but the first thing I'm gonna do since I'm on a 4K monitor is search for high DPI, H-I-D-P-I. You'll find Kali high DPI mode. Go ahead and enable that and select yes to keep it. This is so I can actually see things because on a 4K monitor, everything is tiny by default. All right, now that you have one of the coolest operating systems, in my opinion, installed, right-click the desktop and select display settings. Now this will, by default, bring you to the backgrounds pane. 
you see that you can set it to change backgrounds and it'll go through all those different wallpapers. Uh, it'll change it every 10 minutes by default. You can change the increment on that and make it one minute, 60 minutes, whatever you want. But you also notice that we only had about eight wallpapers there. Now my favorite one or some of my favorite ones were not there. So what we're gonna do next is run a command from the terminal that's gonna get you every single Kali wallpaper that has ever existed. So go ahead and crack open that terminal and you're gonna type in sudo space apt space install space Kali hyphen wallpapers hyphen all. Since you did a sudo, you'll be prompted for your password. Hit enter. Next, it'll ask you to continue. Hit enter. And this will just take a second. It's pulling in all of those nice Kali wallpapers. All right, once that finishes, go ahead and right click the desktop again and say display settings. And now you'll see you have a whole bunch of really awesome wallpapers. A lot of backtrack ones as well. So if you guys aren't familiar with Kali or the history of it, it used to be called backtrack and it evolved into Kali Linux. Here's one of my favorite ones that I like to set up. So I'm gonna use that for now. And you might be wondering where are all those wallpapers stored? Well, if you look at it right there, it says folder Kali dash 16 by nine. So I'm gonna tell you exactly where that's stored. So you're gonna CD into user share backgrounds, do an LS and you will see the folder Kali 16 by nine. So if we CD into Kali 16 by nine, we do an LS, you're gonna see all those nice wallpapers right there. That's cool. But this means if we add any custom images, PNGs, JPEGs, whatever the case is, and you wanna use them as your wallpaper or as part of that rotating wallpaper scheme that you've set up, you're gonna to need to download something and put it in that folder. So I'm gonna go over to 4K wallpapers and pull down a custom one. Let's just do like an alien based one. And then I will put it in that folder and you should see it show up under the display settings wallpapers and we'll get it applied. All right, so I've downloaded that image and by default, it's gonna land in the downloads directory. So let's just LS our downloads and I do see that long name there for my aliens based JPEG file. So I'm gonna do a copy. If you're doing it through the terminal, it's sudo cp and then the source file followed by the destination directory and file. You can also do that through File Explorer, but uh, if you're following along, feel free to just pause and look at that command. All right, that copy finished. Let's do an LS and now we see our alien file in our share directory where all of our backgrounds live by default. So this means if we look in the GUI, now we should also see that wallpaper and be able to apply it. So let's go ahead and close out of this and we'll reopen it and then we should see our new wallpaper. And there it is, there's our alien themed wallpaper. So whatever you put in there, whatever you put in that directory will now be available to you to apply as a wallpaper. Now that you guys have made Cali feel like your own, you are ready to follow along with the rest of the series. We are going to learn so much cool stuff in this series. We're going to use John the Ripper, Wi-Fi, Aircrack, NG, Burp Suite, you name it. I'm going to cover it. Metasploit, all that good stuff. I'm going to teach you guys how to go from zero to a Cali Linux offsec hero. And feel free to make this an interactive series. Ask me questions, make requests along the way. We can make this a dynamic, ongoing series. I love to interact with the community. So follow along, guys, and be prepared to learn a whole lot. And the best way to learn, again, is ask questions and get interactive with myself and the rest of the community. If you guys need Kali Linux and you don't have a spare machine to put it on, I've got a few ways for you to do that. I have set up dual boot videos. Check out my contents on my channel. You'll find a lot of Kali related stuff, including how to dual boot and even triple boot Kali Linux on your existing device. Now, maybe you're not comfortable doing that. Consider checking out one of my custom USB drives over at bootableusbs.com. Link in the description. These things are jam packed with all kinds of stuff. Some of them have more than 50 different operating systems or bootable OSs on them, including Kali Linux, Parrot OS, all that good stuff. Doesn't really matter. Uh, if you get one, I really appreciate it, but feel free just to follow along with this series either way. All right, guys, however you get Kali, make sure you get it because the rest of this playlist, you're not going to want to miss it. Appreciate you tuning into this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you got any any enjoyment out of it at all, whether that was entertainment, learning, educational, uh, anything. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up, subscribe because you don't want to miss the rest of the playlist like I said. All right guys, till the next one, everyone take care.